Isaac the artist and background and the one my people so this time around we're gonna use the power of the mock ref once again with the volume builder and the matrix to make things happen town waits for no man let's go <laughs> Here we are at Cinema 4D once again, my good people. Business as usual. Ah, let's drop in our sphere. Press NB on the keyboard, of course. Type Akosa Hydra. Segments, let's put 24 for now. Highlight your sphere now. Let's go to Ferrum Fracture. Hold out. Click into that. Now, let's start here. Sources temp. Let's click this. This is the source that's driving the distribution of this island. Down below there, the more you increase this value, the more of that. The more you adjust this value or decrease it, the distribution variation changes. But we don't need this. Delete. OK. Let's add in a matrix. Okay, with our matrix now, let's go object. Our object in this case will be our sphere. Okay, distribution by default is surface. We will change it to vertex. Wow. Okay, so far so good. Now, go to Verony, source tab, drag and drop your matrix. Now, your matrix is the distribution source for these blocks okay and let's just hide those fees for now this is good and wherever it is even let's just move things a bit select your matrix go to the more graph effect are we looking for this guy random random selected parameter come here you have to find random values that work for you for me these ones will do for me, these values will do. You can use the same or use any other values that will work for you. Or you can just leave it as it is without using the randomizer. So, I'm gonna hide the matrix again. Burden fracture selected. Now we go to the object. Offset fragments, let's put four. Invert all only thickness, let's put four. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to use current fracture to spice things up a bit. Hold Alt with your various fracture selected. Click that. Voxel size must put 0 0.5. Okay, that's good. However, you cannot render a voxel size because it's just like a vacuum or it's just space. So we can use a volume measure to convert all of this into a mesh. So we can render it out. Hold control with that. Press N A. Okay. Let's look into that. So far, it looks proper. However, we can smooth the things up a bit. Volume builder selected now. SDF smooth. Click it once. Boom. There you have it. There you have it. So now, let's uh, drag and drop. Let's make a copy of this. Let's come into this one. Wait, fall and build it first. Let's move this STF smooth to the top so it can cover both of this. Now, Make sure you, you disable the volume builder. Let's go with this one. Okay, let's go to object. Offset. Well, let's put two. Thickness. Let's put eight. No, uh, I said eight. Yes. Let's scale this up a bit. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that will do. Now let's enable our volume builder. 
Wow. Now we have that organic thing going on right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see this setup, it's all procedural. You can come to random and cast or change your values. You can do whatever it is that you want to do with this. It's all procedural and that's the beauty of this setup. So, we have reached the end of this tutorial. If there's any suggestion, drop those in the comments. Check some links in the description. As if the artist is the name, thank you for the support. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So, that concludes the business of the day. Isaacs, the artist, a mode. Thank <laughs> you.